Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 634. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 628 to 635. Hey, we have a great trick here. We're actually going to learn something very important about formulas and criteria. Oftentimes, we use criteria to count or sum or extract records. And criteria can come in uh, either text or numbers. And they, ne they cannot match up. You cannot have the text version of the number 2013 and say, ask a question like, is that equal to the number 2013? So we want to uh, talk about numbers and text and criteria. We want to run into a problem and then solve it two different ways. Now, our first problem is, we have some column of transactional dates and we have, for whatever reason, a drop down up here that has 2011 work order, 2010 work order. And we can't change this, but we need to take the criteria from that right there, 2010, and then say, is anything in this date column, which are serial numbers, are any of those, do they contain the date 2010, which that one does? We want to count. So let's just, um, we're going to use the sum product because we're going to do some array stuff and a sum product can handle that. The first thing I want to do is get an array of years. Now these are serial numbers and they're not years, so we need to use the year function, convert these dates to years, and then we'll worry about how we're going to compare it to this. I'm going to use the year function and I'm going to highlight all of these. Now if I close parentheses on this, let's just take a look. Let's F9 it. You can see they are numbers. Numbers uh, do not have double quotes around them. So this is an array of numbers. And the year function did its job. It gave us 11, 11, 11, 12, just, just like we thought. Now Control Z. Now I want to ask the question, are any of those equal to that? But how do I get that 2010? How do I extract that out of this? Because this is text. Actually, you could highlight this and hit the F9 key. Oh, I guess you can't because I have data validation. We could come over here and do it. Oh, actually, no, that won't work. It's never going to do that. I thought we were going to get um, text from that. Okay, so no problem. We have some text there. We can tell its text a bunch of ways. Another way to tell its text is it is aligned to the left. Um, so I can't just say equals this, but I can use the left function. I could say give me the left of this. Now the left function is great because it will give us however many characters from the left that you tell it, comma, how many characters? Four. Every single time, 2011, uh, 10, 2012, 2013, all have four characters. So now, that should work. That should be a series of trues and falses. But let's look at this. Highlight this and hit the F9. That is in double quotes, which means Excel thinks that it is text, Control-Z. Now, you don't have to even F9 it, because anything that the left function or right function or any of these kind of extract text functions spit out is always going to be text. Now, we already saw when we highlighted that that we got numbers and this is text. Let's just see what happens because this is criteria. This is an equal sign, so we're doing a comparative operation. We're using criteria to come up with trues and falses. But when I hit F9, they're all falses. The reason why is because you can never get a match. Even though there are some 2010s within here, you can see one right there. That's a number, Control Z, and this one is text. Never going to happen. So we could do two things. We can either, in, in this first example, we're going to take this text and convert it back to a number. The easy way to do that is just do plus zero. Any operation on a number that's stored as text will convert it back to a number. So when I hit F9, you can see now it's a number. Now you can compare number to number. Control Z. And when you do that, you can see F9, now we get some of our trues. Now, some product is going to need to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros, so we use double negative. Now, before I enter this, I'm going to scoop it, copy, and now I'm going to control enter. We get five, which is exactly what we see with our conditional formatting over there. Now, control V, 
In this last example, we took text and converted it to a number with plus zero. Totally awesome, useful trick, and lots of times you encounter this. Remember, criteria can't be number to text or text to number. But here, what if we wanted to take this te uh, this these numbers and convert it to text? We could just do ampersand double quote. That means we've added a blank onto the end of each one of those numbers, which converts it to text. You can go ahead and highlight this, hit the F9 key, and no problem. Now we've all these numbers are text, and now text can be compared to text. Enter. Number to number, text to text. And now if we change this right here, we can see that we get our uh, calculation. If you download the workbook, you can see the conditional formatting I have used there. All right, uh, we'll see you next trick.